Give some team grades for the 2023 season. This part will be the Big 12. Let's first start with West Virginia. After going 5-7 and seven last year, Neil Brown, their head coach, was one of the biggest names on the hot seat. Everyone thought if they had a rough start to the season that he would be fired midseason. But as we can tell, they had a phenomenal season. They went 8-4, and four, and one of those losses did come to Houston, which if we don't remember, that was a weekday game that came from a Hail Mary prayer from Houston to help them win that game. They could have easily been 9-3 and three this season. Next, we got Oklahoma State. And if this year proved anything for Oklahoma State, it proved that Mike Gundy is the GOAT. Maybe not actually because that's Nick Saban. He somehow got this team to a 9-4 and four record, beating Oklahoma and going to the Big 12 Conference Championship game. They even lost a game to South Alabama early on the season, where after that game, I was wondering if they would even make a bowl game. If you're an Oklahoma State fan, you should be absolutely ecstatic, and that's why I gave you guys my rare A-plus grade. Next, we got Oklahoma. This was year two under Brent Venables. If you guys don't know, he was was previously at Clemson being their DC. But Venables at Oklahoma in year one barely made a bowl game and went six and seven. This year I was just hoping for an eight or nine win season. But oh man did he prove us wrong and went ten and two. And in that he beat Texas when they were ranked in the top five. It was a little upsetting this year that you guys lost two pretty inferior teams in Kansas and Oklahoma State. But Oklahoma fans should be happy and that's why I gave them a solid A minus. Finally the last team in the Big 12 we got the Texas Longhorns. In year two under Sark, they win a solid eight and five, but again, doing the normal Texas thing where they lose to teams they really shouldn't. Well, this year they made almost zero errors. Their only loss in the regular season came to Oklahoma. In their last year of the Big 12, they won the Big 12 championship. They did end up losing to Washington in the college football playoffs. If you're a Texas fan, you cannot get upset at all. So I give them an A.